Well, hello everybody. Today is pretty exciting because I'm going to do a very different kind of video and I'm really nervous and it's October and you're going to see everybody posting Halloween makeup and pictures and this is going to be my first go around with that. So my friend Allie here on YouTube and Instagram, we that's where we met was through Instagram and I'm so happy the world brought us together because she's amazing and I'm going to link her channel down below and I'm going to put our Instagrams down below as well. We are doing a collab on some Halloween looks every Thursday we're going to be uploading and we did do Halloween, or not Halloween, we did a collab where we were doing different eras, um, the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, so on and so forth, where we would post makeup that looked like those time periods uh, on our Instagram, so I would love it if you would check those out. But now that it's October, we're like, why don't we do some Halloween stuff? Stuff that I am very not familiar with, but I'm super excited to see what I can come up with. I literally have no type of Halloween makeup. All I have is my regular everyday face stuff. So I really want to see how I work with that into making a look. So this week, our first week that we're doing this, we are doing our takes on Sally. From Nightmare Before Christmas and I have loved Nightmare Before Christmas since I could walk like <sighs> that movie has been my happy sad mad any type of emotion I put it on I sing the songs I nerd out I love that movie and I will love that movie for life so I am very very happy that we are kicking off the week with one of my absolute favorite movies. And uh, this is going to be the intro and I would like to just throw on some music and sit here and try and do this. So my video is going to be silent but I'm going to try and do a voiceover to tell you what I'm using and what I'm doing when I edit this so hopefully if you hear me throughout the video that works out otherwise my video is going to be silent and that's going to be super sad but we'll see how it goes um yeah so nervous I got my my cat ears so this is how we get stuff done you know <laughs> Um, but make sure you check out Allie's channel. I love her. Uh, she's Allie Brianne here on YouTube, and I'm going to do my best to try and link uh, the stuff down below. She's Allison Hunt number two on Instagram, and I just love her, and I'm so excited to figure out and to see what we come up with, and either way, even if it comes out bad, it's going to be a really fun experience, and I'm glad that I get to do it with her. So... Let's just get on into this. Let's see what happens. So I'm starting with my Cover FX Anti-Acne Primer. I'm just going to put it all over the face. I really, really love this primer. And I got my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in probably the lightest shade ever. I forgot to look which one it was, but it's the matte and dewy one. Not the, not matte, or it's the dewy one. Now I have my Smashbox uh, concealer in the shade Fair. And it is bright. covering up a little, little zit there. <laughs> now I'm taking my damp micro beauty blender and just blending out my concealer. Okay. 
Try to get those red spots around the nostrils. Now I have my Tarte Amazonian Clay Setting Powder and that just made a huge smoke screen going on inside my face but I really just wanted to whiten my face up and set all that dewiness. Then I took a Sephora Single Eyeshadow. Um, I have no idea what the shade name is but I tried taking it on this fluffy brush that I was gifted. It's from Victoria's Secret. Um, I was really trying to add like a blue cast to my face because Sally is pretty blue. But I was struggling a lot because it just kept like holding pigment in specific places and not coming on smooth. It was very patchy. Then I decided to try uh, Steve Laurent uh, Single Shadow. That didn't go well. Priming my eye with my Smashbox concealer. And I'm going to go back into the Steve Laurent shade. That is in Blueberry, I believe. And I just wanted to blend it all over my eye. Same color, going on the bottom lash line. Now I have my NYX blue eyeliner and I'm going to tight line my eyes and my lower lash line. And I got it on my face. Now I have my Clinique liquid liner pen and I'm just going to create a long wing with it. And now for the fun part that took the longest. I am taking my Clinique pen and I'm just creating some random shapes on the side of my face to do um, my Sally patches with. That's basically what they're going to be is like on her dress with the patches. And yes, my video skipped a little bit. My laptop went black and I had no idea why so I had to fix it. But it was still recording which was really weird. So... Yep, I'm just, I didn't want to do a traditional Sally look. I really wanted to take her dress and stitching into effect as well. Now I'm going into my Flamingo palette with the shade Lemonade. I'm going to start filling some color in. And that is my Lisa Frank um, Glamour Dolls shadow brush that I'm obsessed with. And I'm taking my Smashbox concealer, putting it in the circles I've created to lay down a different color. And that is the shade Beach, I believe. Going back in with concealer, I'm going to very dangerously try to put it in those tiny lines that I've created. I've seen traditional Sally done a million times so I really just wanted to try and create something different but keep the concept of her being you know like a rag doll and whatnot. 
I'm taking the beach shade as well that I put inside those polka dots up top. And I got something in my eye. <laughs> now I'm taking my NYX palette and I'm going to go in with this like light pinky purple shade. Using the same color up top. And now I'm going for the green. My eyebrow was there, so it was being difficult. And yeah, that's what we got so far. We're going to go back into the next palette and take the yellow. It was more like a lime green sparkled yellow. And now we're going to go into the hot pink. Which is probably my favorite shade in the palette. I use that one the most all the time. They're very pigmented shadows. I didn't even put concealer there. Now, I know it doesn't look like it, but that color was the orange color in the palette. And then I was like, mm, why did I put that so close to yellow? Because it's a very light orange. But we're going back into the yellow, and we're going to try and touch it up and make it more vibrant where I had laid it down to begin with. Back into the hot pink. And I took my Smashbox concealer first to give that a nice base for that pink to stick to. And a lot of this video I'm using um, the Kat Von D Shade and Light brush. I'm using the pencil side. It really helped in this video to get all the small spaces Is it starting to look like Sally yet? Back into the Flamingo palette, I really wanted to get that shimmery purple color and add some fun to this. Well, if it's not fun, I don't know what fun is, but just more fun, apparently. Always got to add sparkle. Now I have my e.l.f. liquid liner, and I'm going to make polka dots inside this patch. Well, just little dots, not big ones. And then I'm going to start making them look like patches by taking it and flicking little lines on the outside edges of the patch. And I'm going to do this to the rest of them as well because they're all supposed to look like patches. And some of them I got a little crazy with but got the job done. And I smeared liner all over my nose so I had to fix that. And now I'm adding the stitches to the mouth and to my liner. And 
And now I'm going to create some like eyelash effects because Sally's lashes are stitches. Going back in with the blue, I'm just going to put it through my eyebrow. I could not figure out what I wanted to do with them, but I thought stitches might overdo it. So I just went with smoking some blue into it and trying to fix the red on my nose where I had eyeliner on it. Going back to my Clinique, I decided that I wanted to try and make a heart patch because that side of my face was just lacking a little bit. And I thought, it, you know, add a little cute thing and I'm adding my circles. Taking the concealer. Now I'm going to go back into my NYX palette and take that purple and dot out all of the circles that I put concealer on. Fun fact, my boyfriend actually bought me that NYX palette. He put it in my Easter basket. Yes, we do make e Easter baskets for each other. But he did a really good job picking that out by himself. I didn't even tell him that I wanted it, and he did really good. Now I'm going to take, it's like a corally orange color in the palette, and I'm just going to fill the heart in. And this is what I look like so far. We are getting somewhere. Do you get the Sally inspiration? Or is it just me going in with my Hourglass Caution Mascara, which I actually pretty much like. I think it's a win for me. I realized I did not put like the fake lines for lashes under my eye on the other side, so I'm going to quickly put those in. And I'm going to go back in with Caution Mascara. And that's what that looks like. I decided my face was still looking a little empty on the other side. So I wanted to add some more stitching. Because she is a rag doll. She's all stitched up. Wanted to make sure I was really getting that concept. Added a little one over there to my chin. Then I realized her neck is stitched up, and I did mess up, so I had to try to correct that. And I was like, mm, what if it looked like my heart was out? No, didn't like it. And I bought fake eyelashes by Allure, and I did them off camera because I would have lost an eye. So that's what those look like. I haven't put on fake eyelashes in about two or three years. I used my Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in Babe Alert. Love this color. And we did it, guys. I created some version of Sally that was in my brain. And I hope I did it justice. I never do makeup looks like this, so really wanted to give it a go and I really hope you guys enjoy it and find it creative and give me a thumbs up if you do and I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and go check out Allie's video she's the bomb and I can't wait to see what you guys think